One UI 8 is already here and we'll talk about everything you want to know about it. New features, improvements, system and battery performance on S23 FE. Don't panic, as after the update, the phone heats up a bit and will settle down within a day or so. Let's start with some AI features and updates first. There's this amazing new caption feature added on the call screen. You can now see all the captions of the conversation of what each person says on the screen in real time. There are times we are in noisy environment or maybe due to some specific accent, we miss what the other person is saying. Well, this feature will be really useful in such situations and can help you follow the conversation on your screen without missing anything. And this other one is one of my favorite features of Galaxy AI. Earlier, if you remember, once you start AI Select, it used to take few seconds before you could select or circle anything. Now there is no more waiting. When you start AI Select, you can now select an area or the screen immediately. I use AI Select all the time and this is a quality of life improvement which makes this feature seamless. And seamlessly, let's move on to our next favorite section of personalization. And here we have some amazing updates. Starting with the lock screen, we have this new stylish dynamic clock which shifts and moves around the wallpaper subjects to avoid any overlap and gives this amazing look for your lock screen. It works beautifully for human subjects, animals and birds. It works for some objects sometimes, but it's a rare scenario and maybe Samsung will improve it to adapt to all different type of subjects in future. You can choose between the vertical or horizontal style based on your wallpaper. We have another new animated clock style introduced in One UI 8 and this is very similar to the one added in One UI 7. And with that, let's get into some cool new wallpaper related updates. But before that, I have some high resolution, vibrant and color nature wallpapers for you. You can find the link in the description. Just download and use it to personalize and decorate your home screen and lock screen. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and getting back to the updates again. Next change is in wallpaper section. When you'll get into the change wallpapers, first up, you'll notice this cool animation within the gallery section that displays suggested images. Your phone will recommend the best photos from your gallery. You can choose any of these for your wallpaper. Alternatively, you can pick from the recent items, videos or downloads, or you can use this arrow to select anything from your gallery. This is very thoughtful and will be very useful for the people who change their wallpapers very frequently like me. And it's not ending here as there are some more wallpapers. These new additions include interactive and dynamic wallpapers like color gradients that change over time. Like in morning, bright colors will be there and in evening, it will be muted and darker tones. Next, you can now check stock prices without unlocking your screen on the now bar. Yes, it supports all the stocks you follow on Google Finance with big price changes will appear on your now bar at the end of the trading day. Next, there's a major change in quick share interface and it's completely changed now. It is much more organized and cleaner with send and receive tabs. This new look blends well with the One UI 8 theme now and feels consistent when it comes to aesthetics. Additionally, you have ability to share multiple file types, photos, videos, documents, and others in bulk. And this definitely helps with sharing files, but what about finding the downloaded files? Yes, the next one we have is in my files, and this is one of the best and daily go-to feature of One UI 8. You can now filter files based on the app that was used to download them. Works in the downloaded and recent views in my files. It is categorized and makes it really easy to find if it was from an email or maybe Google Drive or any other location. You don't have to keep scrolling and searching files now. It will be served on your plate by the system. Similarly, screenshots are also auto categorized with different categories like boarding passes, shopping lists or maybe travel locations. This update makes it easier to find some older screenshots which are present deep in your phone for which we need to dig and scroll. You can do more index on connected displays. You can now add widgets to your home screen when using DeX on a connected display as well as control settings for the mouse and on-screen keyboard. Not just that, we have enhanced display support for DeX. The new Samsung DeX gives you more options when connected to an external monitor or TV. You can choose an optimized display resolution up to WQHD and rotate the display 90, 180 or maybe 270 degrees. We can now split the screen in 90 to 10 ratio. While two apps are open in split screen view, you can push one app against the edge of the screen to keep it partially visible while giving most of your focus on the other one. And you can tap the smaller app anytime to switch between them quickly. And now if you'll go to the camera app, we have new camera control setting added. We can now access quick controls in camera even quicker than before by swiping up or down anywhere in the preview area. 
In camera settings, you just need to change the swipe up down option to open quick controls. Next in contacts, you can add your contact profile cards easily. In any contact, you'll find this option to select the profile card, which will be visible on your call screen when that contact calls you. After creating, you can also share your profile card to other people so that they can see it when you call them. Again, in contacts, you can now review the recorded calls as well. It's now easier to review a past conversation and calls. Also, calls you have recorded now appear on the contact history screen. It is now time to get into some alarming updates. Yes, it is very easy to organize alarms in One UI 8. You can now add existing alarms to an alarm group by tapping the plus button on the alarm group screen. You can also add alarm group to a widget on your home screen so that you can turn all the alarms in the group on or off with a single tap. And next, we have small change in notification settings. You can now choose the pop-up notification style for each app separately in the app's notification settings. You can choose options based on the notifications for apps according to your priority and privacy. The more private apps can just show the icon and other casual apps can even have detailed notifications. Another one is in the weather app. The weather app now provides more rich and realistic images to help you intuitively understand the current weather conditions. And another interesting update we have is in the reminder app. The reminder app has been redesigned with categories shown at the top of the screen making it easier to see how many reminders are there in each category with a quick glance. Additionally, you can now use the sample reminder templates to quickly select and set your reminders. This is pretty convenient and it is very useful for people in hurry. On the other hand, adding these reminders is very easy now. Just type your reminder into the box at the bottom of the screen. You'll also get some suggestions as you type that you can tap and select to save time. You can add checklist locations and pictures using the buttons below in the text box or if you don't want to type anything at all, tap the mic icon for the voice input. I have been using these new One UI 8 features and testing my S23 FE for almost 4 days now and I can say performance of the phone has definitely improved. Face unlock has improved a lot as it can unlock the face from a distance now and you don't have to be conscious for that. Also, I haven't noticed any lags or jitters while opening and closing of apps. No app failures or situation where we need to restart the phone. Even the animations are much smoother and it feels like an update that completes One UI with smoothing of rough edges here and there to improve the experience. But yes, battery backup has taken a hit for sure. It happened after the One UI 7 update in past but slowly it improved. I noticed the major difference after factory reset and some updates. Before One UI 7, I was getting 5 to 5.5 hours of SOT and after the update, it was around 4 to 4.5 hours maximum. And it is the same situation for me again as I'm getting SOT of almost 4 hours or slightly more than that based on the usage. Earlier, I was easily making it throughout the day with one charge and after One UI 8, I need to charge it around 6.30 to 7 p.m. So stay tuned as I'll keep you updated on the battery performance and also I'm working on a video to help you increase battery performance on older Samsung phones. You can subscribe to the channel for that and share your thoughts or any problems you are facing in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.